Right, the thank you, Chairman. Uh, this decision should not be based on a campaign promise made to a particular constituent base, but on thoughtful consideration of readiness, morale, and cohesion. We owe that to the men and women who serve us and are in harm's way. And we've heard from, in our in the committee, we've heard from all four of our service chiefs expressing their concerns on this amendment. And, and it's unanimous with the chiefs and Secretary Gates and Admiral Mullen have sent a, a, recently sent a letter to the chairman of the committee, Chairman Skelton, and saying that they believe in the strongest possible terms that the department must, prior to any legislative action, be allowed the opportunity to conduct a thorough, objective, and systematic assessment of the impact such a policy change develop an alternative to the cohesion implementation plan and provide the president and the Congress with the results in this effort in order to ensure that this step is taken in the most informed and effective manner. And that's Admiral Mullen and Secretary Gates. Further, Admiral Roughheads has sent a letter. It says he shares the views of Secretary Gates and that the best approach would be to complete a Department of Defense review before any legislative change is made. Further, uh, General Schwartz has said that the matter of keeping faith keeping faith with those currently serving in the armed forces that the Secretary of Defense commissioned the review that it be completed before any legislative act is done to repeal don't ask don't tell General Casey says the same has the same type of response it goes further saying repealing the law before the completion of the review will be seen by the men and women of the army as a reversal of our commitment to hear their views before moving forward and finally General Conway stated that he believes the current policy works, and at this point his best military advice to the committee, the Hass Committee, and to the Secretary and the President would be to keep the law as it, as it stands today. In addition, Congress is giving up its power, surrendering, abdicating its constitutional authority to the executive branch in order to appease a political agenda. This amendment as drafted puts a conditional future on important defense policy and law which would then only be, decide, be decided by the administration. I believe Congress should maintain its authority. Gentlemen, gentlemen please, 15 more started. seconds. Gentlemen, additional minute. Gentlemen, recognized for an additional minute. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I believe Congress should maintain its authority to review and debate this policy, the implication of repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell, before a dis final decision is made. We owe that to the men and women in our armed services. To my colleagues, I urge them, don't shoot before we aim. I urge a no vote on the Murphy Amendment. Thank you, and I yield back.